hopefully everyone's having a good night tonight. In the meantime, I'll be uh, entertaining all of you lovely people with some more Dark Souls. We'll be uh, wrapping up our playthrough, looks like, tonight. Uh, just because after we beat Duke's Archives, all we have to do is go to the Kiln of the First Flame, and we're done. Um, pretty much fought all the bosses that we can. The only one I haven't really fought was Goff, and that's just because he's optional. And I kind of don't want to kill him because he helped us, unlike the other Knights of Gwyn, who were two of them attacked us. One of them asked us for something like, 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 OK, I don't even fucking know your name and you're sitting here asking me for shit. That's cool. Whatever. So we got rid of her. But Goff, Goff's cool. I have no reason to attack the man. I accidentally almost attacked him last night. That shit was scary. I decided to do one of these right next to him and somehow I flew all the way the fuck over there and I didn't hit him. Some miracle. Don't know how, don't know why, but it happened. But yeah. Oh, you know what? While I'm chilling here not getting shot by this dude's arrows, I'm gonna pack a bowl because I forgot to do that. Oopsie. Anyway. Um, happy Friday, everybody. Hard to believe we're already here. Um, let's see here. So if we finish the playthrough of Dark Souls 1 tonight, I'm just thinking about going straight into Dark Souls 2. Fuck it. Boot it up. Let's go. You know? Watch the ending and all that stuff of our Dark Souls 1 playthrough. You know? If we get enough people in here that, are, that have enough interest, we'll see uh, if we want to... Um, if we want to kindle ourselves and be part of the first flame or if we just want to say fuck the first flame and usher in that age of darkness like we want to do let's see I think the controller's charged for right now Alright. Pardon me if I uh, have to blow my nose part way through. My allergies have been acting up recently. Or at least today, mostly. Just like a weird, you know, the the tickle in the back of the throat and runny nose. Just dumb shit. I took some Allegra like 10 minutes ago. So, see how it goes. Tell you what though, driving around with no AC in Florida sucks ass. It was like 90 today, and I drove around for about four hours with my wife, taking her to different appointments and stuff, uh, which, in hindsight, definitely probably could have could have pushed that back a little bit, but, you know, you know what they say about hindsight, right? <laughs> also, watermelon juice, very good, very hydrating. And refreshing. And just good. Just very good stuff. I drank that Simply or uh, simply Orange brand, but it's Simply Watermelon. Simply Watermelon. Anyway, cheers. <sighs> what? Throw it up. Tell me all these guys are just chilling back here. You shot me in the ribs. Where'd this guy even go? Did he fall off the bookcase? Now he's around the other side. Hello, hello. Got somebody in here already. That's cool. Uh, I wonder if they fell down and then they drew the sword and I just killed them thinking they were a melee unit. Uh, that would make sense. <clears throat> I 
Richard? Oh, you douche. Ugh. We don't play that shit. Pineapple guy doing the pineapple dance. Hey Fang, how you doing buddy? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you as always. We're um, approaching the final stretch of uh, our Dark Souls 1 playthrough here. Once we finish up Duke's archives here, we're gonna be uh, Pretty much gonna go fight Gwen and parry the fuck out of him and embarrass him because he's a shitty final boss and then we'll be uh, probably just going starting into Dark Souls 2 depending on how long that takes us. How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. doing? Shaving your head or something? Uh, bourbon and leaves. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. I mainly do the plunge attack just to make sure I don't deviate from where I'm falling because sometimes things happen and then, yeah, <laughs> disaster happens. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Salem. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. The strain of the day is definitely black tuna. I got some more of that, like, yesterday, because it's just such a great strain. Keeps me chatty, you know, keeps me engaging. Just grand, it's Friday, that's right. And a happy Friday is... We all got the weekend ahead of us. Pour one out for the homies that do work on the weekend. I'm so sorry. I hate that shit. I work on Sundays, but honestly, I'd rather work Sundays just because Sundays are a shit day to have off because everything closes early. <laughs> At least in my opinion, I, I think it's a shit day to have off. Y'all like your Sundays, keep them. 
That's right, I can't do that in this game. I'm trying to think I can lock on and just shoot him that way. Damn. Maybe I should work on my deck so my bow does more damage, but at least I kept him in stun lock just because of consistent headshots. And we're sliding. Pull the lever. <clears throat> if you hear me clearing my throat, I do apologize. I uh, have a little bit of allergy issues today. But uh, thank God it's just that. <laughs> okay, so that opens up the shortcut for that. Uh, let's see what we got going on in Yaw. I did take some Allegra. <laughs> I love all the emojis you throw up, bro. Blue Titanite Chunk. Because, yeah, I totally use Crystal Weapons. I, I don't use Crystal Weapons. I don't even use Intelligence that much, to be honest. Like, I put one point in Intelligence. <clears throat> just to see if it would give an increase for my uh, my pyromancies because it does technically have an A scaling for uh... Ooh, it's a mimic y'all wanna see how fast I can kill a mimic? I don't think you guys were watching last night but man I can crush mimics pretty quick look at that look at that shit look at that shit fucking dead Crystal limber, cool. I can make crystal weapons now. Ooh. <laughs> I think this is another mimic over here. No, not this one. Especially with that tongue. Oof. What's up, Chub Mackerel? How you doing, homie? We got the uh, Iron Pineapple set. At least that's what I call it. Six-Eyed Sage, I think, is the real name of it. Liquors! Yes. Liquors 2. Archive. Tower. Giant cell key. Oh, that's the one where we can let Big Hat Logan out. But you really only need to let them out if you're trying to learn, like, crystal sorceries and all that shit. And, like, basically just sorceries in general. Which I don't. Well, those prism stones might come in handy. Um, let me see. There really isn't anything I needed up there anyway. Let's see. So I don't see the, the yellow golem or the gold golem, whatever people want to call it. Basically, it's for a side quest, but I haven't seen Siegmeier in so long. I honestly don't think he's going to show up in the, in the future. Um, I just kind of neglected the onion bro pretty much entirely. Just because I was too busy trying to save the boy Solaire, which we did it. Five people in here now. Cool shit. What's up, everybody? About to go through one of, in my opinion, the one of the more nerve-wracking parts of this game. Uh, besides from fighting Calamy by yourself, that's pretty fucking nerve-wracking. Let me tell you. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I just use classic WoW tactics, pulling them. One at a time. 
the ice monsters. Yes, right. Hey, Misato Sama, how are you? I'd rather fight Kalamita over Madeir. Hey, you know what? That's facts. Especially how I basically, like, I don't know. It almost felt too easy. You know, the fact that I wasn't getting my dick punched in by Kalamita the entire time. Oh, I'm doing great now, dude. You're beautiful. Nah, she's in the bedroom. Uh, I think she's playing um, the Samurai Warriors 5 demo. And I never miss an opportunity to flirt with my wife. She's the only chick I'm allowed to flirt with, so I might as well abuse it, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Flirt the fuck out of her. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> My boy Chubb Mackerel knows. Bro, I wasn't even over there. What are you doing? All of the flirting. That's right. To her goals. Oh, thanks, Salem. Appreciate that. <coughs> Rude. Wasn't done hitting you. Normally these guys would be fucking terrifying to fight in these bigger groups, but as long as you fight them 1v1, you're good. Whoa, got me. Damn, I got hit by a little bit of that, but not the brunt of it, so I'm okay. handing this weapon in general is just really fucking useful. <laughs> Got six people up in here tonight. Definitely already a better turnout than last night. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Into the Crystal Cave we go. Alright, so Crystal Cave is home of a couple of nerve-wracking things. One of them is just being overall really threatening verticality. <laughs> run past everything and try to fight Manus at 60. You know, it's actually not a terrible idea. I'd probably get my ass kicked, but uh, yeah. Just because I sometimes abuse the fact that I have a lot of defense. Get a little greedy occasionally. I'm still fighting him? Yeah, I bet you are. Dark bead, so who's the real winner? Yo, facts, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I started leveling up my intelligence, just so I can have that 16 in, just in case I do decide to take it online or decide to do anything crazy with it. Just be like, hey, look, dark bead. I don't have to do anything. Anyway, so yeah, for those of you who don't know about the uh, Crystal Cave, uh, yeah, it's home to this shit where basically the floor is invisible in some parts. Um, and you, you keep track of it by seeing the little sparkles hitting the floor. And then going from there. Uh, yeah. A lot of this level is straight up like anxiety inducing bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm 
don't even need to invest much in it. Honestly, yeah, 16 int is really a very modest, uh, modest requirement in my opinion. I feel like uh, it could be, they could have gotten away with making it 20 and it would have been justifiable in my opinion. Hell, even 25, because I mean, it's, it's that good of a fucking spell. <clears throat> Does so much damage, it don't even matter. Exactly. Actually, here, before I do this, I'm going to go pee. Just because this is going to be an endeavor. Hello, everybody. Well, just came back. Take a puff off of this. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, people do cute little things like leaving uh, <coughs> messages up here too kind of help you see where you're going but yeah so uh floor is invisible uh sparkles are the way through um because i hate this area so much honestly me too I really despise it. Because I get vertigo, bro. And, uh... Sometimes it doesn't affect... It doesn't affect me nearly as bad in-game as it does IRL, but holy fuck. Whew! I'm glad I hit like a truck. Souls, that's right. What's up? What's up, Adra Milk? How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome. Oh, hey, Griff. How you doing, homie? Oh, hey, Moonlight Butterfly. I'm not fighting you. I don't feel like it. That's a lot of work. Getting old, yeah, man. Anybody show some love? I really appreciate that, man. I really do. Thank you for coming by. Um, yeah, man. You know, just doing the damn thing. Plotting on a plunge attack on this guy, but I don't think I can hit him from here. So we gotta go with plan B. 
think of the sweet spear. Yeah. But have you been, man? How are you doing, Griff? How's life treating you? Here you're working at Thornton's now with Zach. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I completely sidestepped that shit, but nope. Womp womp. Yeah. It's to be expected, honestly. And we already have the shortcut unlocked, so that helps. Just gotta remember where it is. <laughs> Kill this guy so he doesn't get any funny ideas. <clears throat> See, Sir Kidney Stones made it. Hell yeah, bro. The homie made it. No more birthing piss rocks for a while, I hope. I lived, Kisama. Whoop. Yo, these leaves can fuck off, bro. <laughs> Go. So here's a shit show. We're gonna have a few drinks and feed the pup. Try to relax. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's up. Sorry that uh, the rest of the day sucked, but hey. At least you get the chance to relax. How's the puppers doing? Whoop. That was a risky roll if I ever seen it. I wish I had the Black Knight Greatsword. It hits about the same strength and it's faster. <laughs> or the not the ultra great sword, but just the regular black knight sword. Thirteen next month. Nice. Then go get the black knight great sword. Yeah. <clears throat> or even the black knight great axe, bro. Black knight great axe is fucking awesome. My first playthrough, I beat the final boss with it by parrying him to death and just reposting with the Great Axe. Like, once... Oh, cool. I guess he's not there anymore. That's helpful. So we peach streamer and I get to see my people flourish. Hey, bro, I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Uh, not allowed to have fun in games. <laughs> Chaos Wyhander. Yo, bro. Yo, Chaos Wyhander is really good. I was using the Chaos Bastard Sword for a while, but that... I don't know if maybe Artorius is just really resistant to fire slash chaos damage, but when I was fighting him with it, it barely was hitting for 100. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And it's plus 5. I had 10 humanity on me. Like, I was doing what chaos damage does. You know, just fucking killing shit. I 
I ended up beating Artorius just with that sword, mainly because I was able to three piece him out of his uh, buff animation. Because if he gets that, I, it's he can four shot me and I'm done. <clears throat> Try to do other builds and I usually go for all reliable. After a few levels, honestly, that's usually what this boils down to. I try to do maybe a semi-different weapon. I always start off with longsword. Then after that, I try to use something else. I basically gravitate towards chaos weapons and black knight weapons, but I might try uh, lightning because I hear lightning's really good. It's New Vegas all over again. It's Skyrim all over again. <laughs> Stealth Archer. <laughs> Let's see if I can use an Alluring Skull. I definitely don't need that anymore. Um, lightning is super good. Yeah, uh, it's what I keep hearing. So I'm, I'm hoping uh, we get to try some cool stuff. Do I even have any Alluring Skulls? I don't. That's okay. Go this way. I got my souls back at least. Miss me with that shit. No! <laughs> oh. <sighs> uh, Dank Lightning, Miracle PvP builds. They always seem. Low P yeah, I mean. That's what I use in Dark Souls 3. Right? I just slid. Like, what the fuck? Usually I'm okay, but nah, not that time. Like, I know people bag on DS2 for being pretty clunky, but... <laughs> they always be looking through rose-tinted glasses when it comes to this game sometimes. Like, it's still a great game. To dark build on DS3. Yeah, dark build's good. Oops. Whoa, where'd you come from, bro? Talk trash about my baby. <laughs> Dark is fun. Um, I use that in the DS2 a lot, actually. The Hexer build. That was fun. Hexer builds with Dark Souls 2 are good. But in the best way possible. God, Hex is so good in DS2. Bro, it's dumb. Yeah, like, my guy in DS2, my Hexer in DS2 is basically like fucking Imes from uh, Overlord. He's just busted. <coughs> fucking Black Witch's Staff. Mm. Sinter spear on top of it is nuts. Uh, that one's good. I ended up using um, what was it the uh, black steel spear? I think it is the one you get from the mummy dudes. Uh, let's see which one, Chub, the uh, Sainter spear or the the black steel spear? I like them both. 
Um, I just ended up going with black steel because then I put the dark enchantment on there. And I think that makes it base uh, scale off here, in, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a minute. Hide as a tree and kick people off cliffs. Hell yeah! Like, I love the videos where they're putting the items off in, like, different areas. Like, right by a, a cliff. And then they'll, like, run up and push them off or kick them down the stairs or some shit. Am I going on backwards? Yeah, I'm going backwards. Yeah. One that's high as NPC. Kind of funny, but the trees and statues are better. Yeah, I actually I did one where uh, I was getting invaded in DS3, and I was at the uh, Church of Yorshka. So I ended up smashing all the pots and stuff like that in the corner, and then I disguised myself as one and just left it there, like pushed all the debris and stuff behind the ca the, the casket it was over by. And I just chilled over there. I must have been hiding for like 15 minutes before I got bored and found him. Well, because he would be running up and down the stairs and I should have clipped it. I was just having way too much fun with it, I think. This is my first time doing something like that. He's got the wild idea like, yo, I should just hide and just make this guy look for me. Just use the horns to give them hints and hide again. Oh yeah, where he's like, here! The, yeah, the emote. I sometimes would be like, here! And then use the fucking, uh, the white branch to transform back. I wonder if he's one of these guys. Sometimes they get lured out by sound. Oh, I hate this guy. what I might do, because I think I have soul items. Good luck, do you have any bombs? Honestly, yeah, I was thinking of uh, using some alluring skulls so I can plunge attack him. Might have a couple bombs on him, maybe. Yeah, I got a few. Not many, though. I don't really fuck with bombs that often. Yeah. I think there's a way I can just skip that. I think what makes that entire encounter so much more difficult is just the footing. Just the footing situation. Because I can kill him pretty fast. Man, it's just such a bad, bad spot.
That's one way to fix that problem, huh? I remember one time I accidentally aggroed the Moonlight Butterfly. Whew! Let me tell you, your boy did not have a good time. Run, Forest Road! Yeah, that's what I did, man. I had to get away from that shit. remember if I can keep walking up here or not. It looks like I can, but I don't know how far that goes. This path was arrows. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So it's there. 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 It's only so challenging for me personally because I have really bad vertigo. <laughs> Thank you guys. Really bad for to go. <laughs> All right, good shit. <sighs> Shout out to Griff for the strat. Cause man, I remember being able to go down there and kill him a lot easier, but today is not that day. Here. See this old man? Some good deals left in the ale. Yeah. Here. Oh yes, wifey is here. Thank you, hon. 
Bruh. <laughs> Fucking shit got real. Whew. Oh, thank you, hun. I still have one more to go. No, actually, maybe I don't have one. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the boss. This is the boss. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're just going to kill him. <coughs> maybe cut his tail off. Pretend like it's Monster Hunter, you know? Hell yeah. Speaking of Monster Hunter, Mr. Griff, have you started playing Rise yet? I wouldn't be surprised if you've already nailed it and stuff like that. Gotta cut the tail. All otherwise, those filthy DS players will think they're better than us. <laughs> I mean, bro, honestly, I feel like Monster Hunter conditioned me for Dark Souls. Waiting for the steam port. Yeah, that's fair. I love these guys because all the Twinkling Titanite they drop. Purging stones are cool too because they're expensive. But they're very important if you're fighting basilisks and shit. Uh, my switch is Fubar. Both Joy-Cons have drift and I feel I don't feel like paying $80 to have that happen again in a few months. Yeah, that's fair. So instead, bought a Steam Deck. Nice. How is it? I've been debating about getting one. Purging stones. Just in case this asshole decides he wants to curse me. He does have a curse move. Uh, I installed custom OS and put emulators on it. When it releases. Oh, okay. Yes, that's Seath's Immortality Crystal, because apparently it's a great idea to be the key to your immortality, completely unguarded. I mean, they said you were crazy. They didn't tell me you were dumb. Oh shit, it's Fatalis, right? White Fatalis, so oh, those. Oh, I'm gonna let him back out of there a little bit. Oh, I gotta destroy his damn. Damn, there it goes. You think for being the key to his immortality would be a little more uh terrible? But I guess they all have to have their drawbacks. And you better sit still seat. Back here. Get back here. If you want my tail, you can have it, bitch. He's gonna keep turning because he wants me to be in front of Oh, you roll like it's Dark Souls. Like, nah, I roll like it's fucking awesome. Man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna end up killing this guy before his tail comes off. Spade plus two, bitch. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna kill the daughter of Chaos and get the last uh, Firekeeper solo and then before I go fight the room. I kind of wish Heartbreaker was a thing right about now. Honestly though with Rise, you're not really missing too much, because there's not a lot in the game. Like, I'm already like HR 100 something. I fought everything. Um, I just haven't done the one uh, one quest where you fight like three Apex monsters in the arena. But other than that, it's like meh. Prince of Valstrax is not all that. Well guys, I don't know how, but after hitting his tail so many times, he still hasn't died. There he goes. His tail didn't come off. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Life's funny like that sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I have a fuck ton of souls now. burn through in like two weeks yeah man it's actually kind of disappointing how easy it was um i was keeping these so i can make the weapons but to be honest i'm i'm probably not gonna do it <coughs> but i don't think eating them is gonna do me any good either because i think i can get two other out of this yeah Actually, I know what I'll do. Oh, I gotta go all the way down to Quailana to do it, but... Yeah, fuck it. To an intelligence. Boost my pyromancies a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, this is it, guys. Up, dude. I am pleased. Is it something? It's something urgent. Uh. Very well. Then stay still for a moment. You made a joke and got auto modded. Oops. <coughs> <coughs> Souls. There we go. That was, uh... That was the Four Kings. And, uh, that was Sea. Because I did, uh, I did, uh, Heisel first. Did a bit of Chaos. Get that shit out of the way. Because I wanted Chaos weapons. 
and then I'm gonna head and did Nito. Just cause uh silver covered a serpent ring. Woman for this one. The humanity. Alright, I'm actually gonna go grab some water real quick. And then we'll go ahead and finish this shit off. Run through the minefield of Black Knights. Probably get the Black Knight armor that I've been wanting. Probably all the Black Knight weapons I've been wanting. Here's some Plin Plin Plans, and then end the game. Uh, I, don't even know what, I guess I'll use the item discovery ring just so I could pick up stuff in case I decided to do a new game plus playthrough at some point. It'd be kind of fun. Hey, now that I have the build that I want, let's really kick some ass. Yeah, give me just a second, I'll get some water. All the black knights walk in into the first kill. Just some asshole walking around, mask of the child in some silver knight armor. Oh, he has that weapon I want. Give it to me. It's kind of funny because 
I've seen speedrunners clip through that area to get through. And then, um, you don't even have to fight Gwyn. You just look at him from a certain point before the boss fight. And then you just fucking murder him. Like that guy. Black Knight Shield. Okay. That's what I'll do. When I go fight Gwyn, I'll put the Hornet Ring on and see if that matters. Black Knight Ult, great sword! Get parried. I'll do it again. Get parried. Hey, I got a Black Knight Ultra Great Sword. Look at that. Do I even have out fucking skilled? Hell yeah, motherfucker! You already know how we do. Some Soul Calibur two parries. Know what I'm saying? They don't want none of that. That's right. That's right. This guy knows. This guy fucking knows. Me and this guy, we used to go to like cons and shit and clear out the fucking area, bro. Leaving people mad salty. Ripping the BGL crew. Oh man. Ah, oh, those were the fucking days. Right upside the head. Titan Eye Junk. The machine is still there at John's Pass. I wonder if she'd s sell it. I mean, you could always find out. We have, like, she saved all of our data on there, bro. Like, I went up there, booted my shit up. It still works. Everything. I, like, forgot my password. There's the Black Knight set. Yeah! Yeah, motherfucker. Ah, oh, but I have to upgrade it in order for it to be good. Meh. It's not the original cabinet that got water damage, but all our data is there. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That explains why the monitor looks kind of weird. Yo, Rez, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but that's how you get the Black Knight armor. Way the fuck over there. Oh. Sucks I just got that too. Uh. That happened the year we got. Oh, that makes sense. That and it's been moved around already enough. Ooh, excuse me. Hey, look at that! Look at that! We fucking did it! We saved the homie! We saved Solaire! Hell yeah! Let's go! I don't even need him here, but we're taking him with us! Yes sir! Yes sir! Motherfucking praise the sun! Yes! Alright, gonna do the Hornet Ring. So I'm gonna parry the fuck out of Gwyn. And all those other black knights that are down there I'm about to go find. Probably beat the shit out of. Ready? You ready, Solaire? Ready to do the thing? Let's go. Ooh. You got the black knight great axe. Ugh, bitch. Ugh, bitch. Ugh. That did so much damage, dude. 
than 1200. Oh. You did damage to my boy. This will not stand. So, Larry, what are you two handing? Are you two handing your fucking talisman, you weirdo? Why, though? Fucking why? Why you do this? Why are you like this? Oh. <laughs> he needs both hands. <laughs> He's clearly his dog. <laughs> uh, Alright, son, bro. Feels weird not having Rez here to watch this, but uh, whatever. Gonna smoke one real quick and then uh, we're gonna get to it. Oh, here we go. Turn it up a little bit so we can hear the nice depressing music. <coughs> All right. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Oh, you can't parry that, Musa. Oh, couldn't see because Solaire threw me off there for a second. <laughs> this fucking Solaire killed him. <laughs> Get him, boy! Fucking praise that shit! Let's go! Ah! Thank you, Solaire. Fucking thank you. Bro. It's BGL all over again. Sitting there, GI, and people just to mock them. Hell yeah, bro! Especially when they try to GI me! I'm like, oh, you do that too? Alright, that's cute. Ping, 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 ping. Somebody finally gets hit by something random. Um, but yeah. Alright. So that was Gwyn. Uh, a little anticlimactic, I'm sure. And delay an unblockable or just piss on their feet. Toe poke. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I usually like to try to do um, Maxi's low kick into uh, one of, it's like a launcher. Um, just to break it up a little bit, and then you can just at least put them in an awkward situation where they have to get a wake up move or something. <clears throat> or just sidestep. Low kick and the backflip, yeah, yeah, the sweep, yeah, the side, the sidestep sweep and the, mm. the fact that they made that a sidestep move is fucking busted. Like, ugh, Soul Calibur Two Maxi is just ridiculous. Ah, like, I like Soul Calibur Six Maxi because he's at least decent, but it's like his soul charge makes him uh, Soul Calibur Two Maxi. It's weird. <laughs> Two is peak soul caliber. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two thumbs way the fuck up on that. Absolutely. Soul caliber two is definitely peak soul caliber all day. Um, but yes, real quick. Not that I don't enjoy talking about soul caliber. I just wanted to throw something in here real quick because I've beaten this game both ways already, both endings. So, which one should we do? Should we go ahead and relight the bond, like relight the fire and? keep the age going or do we just say fuck this shit and just walk right out embrace the dark I like the way this man thinks walk alright 
That's one. Anybody else? Also, did anybody clip that of me parrying him that first that first moment where he jumps at you and I was eh, eh, I'm good, thanks. Sorry. Like I was there, but I just like I just reacted. I it's I can't decide. One of your mods should have. Yo, Chub Mackerel, did you happen to catch that? I hope so, please. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was fucking gorgeous. If not, I do have it to where my VODs are saved. And I can always go back and try to just clip it myself. Worst case scenario. But, ah, that was great. I'm glad I had some people to witness that because I was pretty hype. <laughs> we got one vote for walk, one undecided. Walking sounds like a good idea. What do you think, Griff? We walking out of here? Victory chug just because I can. Use their corpses as our. I love that response. <laughs> Y'all need to look into flossing. We are here to serve your highness. right I do like that ending better it doesn't involve me being you know on fire <laughs> well that was Dark Souls 1 Ugh. that was fun that's that. Time to see what Elden Ring has in store. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm actually... That's funny that you mentioned that. Because the whole reason why I'm doing this whole playthrough of Dark Souls... I'm actually going to do all three Dark Souls uh, games to lead up to the launch of Elden Ring. <clears throat> I'll probably finish them before... Uh, before it even comes out, to be honest. Just because of how quick I went through this one. But... We'll see. DS2 has a bunch of shit in it, because I have Scholar in First Sin. So it's got a lot in there, and I got a lot to do. <clears throat> but yeah. Well, it's still only 12.30, and the night's still young. The BDSM tree, or was that three? Oh, uh, I think that might have been three. With all the little polyps and stuff on it. <clears throat> the one that has like a, an arm dick that comes out and it grabs you and he slams you and tosses you. <clears throat> yep, just throws you right into New Game Plus. But gonna be all for now with the uh, DS1 at least if you hit it with the whip on the ground near you it fully repairs all your gear and free heals what <laughs> I'm 
never heard of that one. <laughs> it's a meme. Let me find the link. Okay. Oh no, I got tagged in something on my one of my chats. <clears throat> Me hitting the blunt after dropping into loser's bracket. Hell yeah. has a picture of Mr. Incredible putting on his mask but his eyes are all red Yo, what's up, Rez? Bro, you just missed it. I'm so sorry. I already killed Gwyn. I already beat the game. I parried his ass the second he tried to jump at me. Like, he started off in the middle of his arena, and he jumped. Like, I, I took a few steps forward, you know. And then he's like, square up, bitch! And he just jumps up at me. And I parry his ass out of the fucking... Right as he's about to hit me. Just, ugh, I had the hornet ring. Son, you style on his ass. <laughs> I even had Solaire with me, bro. Solaire ended up killing him. Because he was like one or two hits away from dying. And I was hitting him for like, what, 1200 damage or some shit? I don't know. I need verification on that because I really wasn't looking on numbers. To be honest with you, I was just like, well, let me see that parry window. I did about a fourth of his health in one parry. Because I put the hornet ring on. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, he got murdered. He got murdered. And then I got the Black Knight set, like, right at the end of the game. Which I forgot about that. I'm like, shit. That's okay, though. Black Knight armor is still, like, the best set in the game once you fully upgrade it. For another playthrough. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I even got the Black Knight shield. Um... I didn't get the great axe. I got the great sword though, so I could do a great sword playthrough. Like, yes, yeah, sir, praise it, yes, sir. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. You should go full guts build with black knight gear. That's a fantastic idea. Although I always keep the mask of the child on, just cause stamina regen. You know, I love that shit. I usually have that in the uh, the shield, grass crest shield, because it's really it's too good in this game. The stability on it is like, oh wow, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna block that. Fantastic. <clears throat> it's not 100% physical block, but I think it's like 95, which is fine. I can do that. I'll take 5% damage on the block. Psh, it's chip damage. But yeah, well. That was actually really fun and very, very, very entertaining. Um, <clears throat> I am going to be switching games, so the broadcast might die for like five minutes. That's just me switching games, and I'm very, very sorry. I don't have any way of changing that. Twitch is just dumb like that on console. So just give me like five minutes. I'll be back on. We'll start our Dark Souls 2 playthrough, okay? See you guys in a sec. Uh, feed my dog, I'll hang out. Alright, bro, I appreciate you lurking. Alright, guys, give me just a second. I'm going to switch games, and then uh, we'll keep the night going. See you in a minute.